I could not dance with a tarantula on my head, I would just freak. Wouldn't matter. I remember you being chased by a bee. It totally looked like a dance. Shut <laughs> up. Did you get a package? Oh, that? No, I'm dropping it off later at the post office for Mike. What's in it? Not sure. You didn't ask? I did, but he skipped the subject. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Sounds very sus to me. You just don't like him since he hangs out with Gavin. For not to hear that name again. You're such a cheating loser. Well, he's constantly skipping classes now from what I heard, so he won't run into him anymore. Bet he's a full-time weed dealer now. Well, good. If Gavin ever talks to me again, I will kill him. I mean it. Anyway, Mike isn't like him. He even has a proper job now. Wanna find out for sure? Open the package. I can't just open his mail. Sure you can. Open it up on the bottom and seal it back up. He won't know. If I do that, I'll feel bad. You know what else is bad? Him railing a side chick behind your back and sending her gifts with his new paychecks. I hate you. Give me your keys. Oh shit, it's a gun? Not so loud, bitch, what's the matter with you? Bitch, what's the matter with you? Dating an armed drug dealer? We don't know that. Yeah, you're right, you just forced up the mall while having an affair with John Wick? Maybe this thing isn't real. It might just be one of those pellet guns. Touch it! I don't want to touch it, you touch it. I'm no expert, but it feels fairly real. What am I gonna do? First thing, we go somewhere where there are less dog walkers watching us. I won't go to the cops who get in trouble! You can't talk this out with him, Hannah! What are you gonna say? I thought you were cheating on me but found your gun? Oh, no! That's why you have to go to the cops! I won't! I'll make him understand that this isn't right! It'll be a rock bottom moment for him and everything will get better that after. That is such bullshit! He won't listen! He will! Because he's just a selfish asshole. A selfish, greedy piece of shit who's smart enough to realize this is in his best interest. If I won't go to the cops, will you? If you won't, I won't. But I don't think life is that cut and dry. Ironically, the world would be better off if everyone just acted in their own self-interest. We all would be forced to compromise and everyone wins in some way. But unfortunately, people go with their feelings first. How do you know? You helping Mike doesn't benefit you. The scorpion and the frog. What? Oh, the scorpion and the frog. It's an old fable. A frog meets a scorpion, and the scorpion asked the frog if it could carry him to the other side of the lake. The frog said no, since the scorpion will sting him. Smart frog. <laughs> yes, but the scorpion replies he would never do that, since they would both drown, and it's not in his self-interest. The frog agrees, and while he's in the middle of the lake, the scorpion stings him. As the frog's drowning, he yells, Why did you do that? Now we both die. What did the scorpion say? He just shrugged and said, It's in my nature. I guess that old story stuck around for a reason. <laughs> I'm drowning because of Mike. Are we going to the cops now? You want me to come with you? No, it's better for him to know you're not involved, just in case. You sure? It's my way of not stinging you.
Fetty's a full-time weed dealer now. Well, good. If Gavin ever talks to me again, I will kill him. I mean it. It's me. Yeah, I have her fingerprints on the gun. You're right. When they eventually find his body, they'll totally think it was her. Okay, see you soon. Love you. <laughs>